Hi friends. So today we'll learn about fillets and we'll learn what exactly are fillets and how you can you know um, what you can do with the fillets. So to get started with, first I will tell you what exactly is a fillet. So a uh, fillet is let me draw one keyboard for you. So it's uh, it's actually a keyboard, but uh, because it's on a 2D paper so I cannot show you but imagine that it have some width also okay so what does uh, the fillet do for example fillet uh, before applying a fillet you will see that you can see that this keyboard here it have some sharp edges here okay so uh, you can see four edges are here and four edges will be in the you know towards my you know it has some width also now so these four all the uh, these four are also sharp and uh, on the other side of the paper there are four edges also so that makes a total of 12 edges so these are very sharp edges and by applying fillet you can know you can have a gra gradual transition between the phases so that the sharp edges uh, may no longer be sharp and they and they will have some curvature so what exactly a fillet do is a fillet makes uh, the, you know you add something like this yeah oh sorry yeah so fillet makes your you know avoid uh, have something like this geometry and a fillet is also always defined by some radius fillet whenever you will apply that uh, will always be defined by radius and the radius uh, is of the circle of which uh, the fillet is a part because fillet is nothing but a curvature if we, I mean if you see in the 2d so uh, this it's also a part of the curvature it have some though uh, there are many there are, it's a variable radius fillet so it have multiple radii because uh, it belongs to different different circles but in general if you see a constant uh, radius fillet then the, the radius which you use to define the fillet is of the circle of whom the fillet is a part okay so now because uh, that you have understood what exactly fillet is so I mean I think we are ready to go so I have this nice cuboid here so we'll, we will experiment upon this so I'll go and click fillet and in fillet I will I always prefer to go by manual option because it gives you a lot of option and in manual you will see four option in which you can select the fillet type so I will give a general idea okay so that you can use the fillet in your upcoming designs so okay so in the first one it's a constant size fillet the constant size fillet is uh, in the first uh, the first parameter which is which it requires is the item which you want to fill it down now the item may be the face or it may be the edge also so I will, if I'll select the edge so as soon as I click on the edge you know it's showing me the preview of the fillet which I'm going to which I'm going to get if I you know click here so as soon as I clicked here it's showing me a radius value 0 0.04 meter here in my case and I can increase or decrease the radius of this fillet and the radius is actually the distance from this point to somewhat here from here to here or you can also say from here to here because uh, that is uh, you know that is uh, the, that because that will be the radius of the curvature of whom this fillet is a part okay. so you can increase or decrease the radius but you know if we will decrease at some point will become a straight line and will will merge with this this line here over here so that's some basic concept for you but uh, I will give a fillet radius of nearly yes 0.4 0 0.04 meter here and if I click here you will see that I will get some rise nice and round figure over here so you see that uh, the fillet removes my sharp edge and gives a smooth transition from this surface to this surface okay so I'll delete that okay. 
and here in profile you know you can select various types of profile which you want conic row you can select and it will also ask for the row value which you can increase or decrease as per the real requirement the greater the row is you know the more the uh, the midpoint of the curvature it touches your edge so it depends on you i mean what type of geometry you want so i will always go for circular because that's what the, that's what the shape of most designs is okay now in the second option you will see the variable size fillet in the variable size fillet uh, as you can you know as the name implies because of constant radius type fillet I have one type of uh, have only one radius and in uh, variable radius uh, fillet you can you know uh, increase or decrease the size of the fillet from one point to other for example I'll show you I selected this edge over here and I have three number of instances so you can see there are three points here which I have highlighted which are highlighted in a between and it's asking for me and it's asking for me the start value and the end value of the radius so I'll give the start value 0 0.01 meter and uh, for example 0 0.07 meter okay so my fillet will look something like this okay so you 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 may notice that the transition here is a really a gradual one and no it's not a sharp one so if you want the sharp one you can click here and it will give you a straight transition but I prefer the smooth one okay now one more thing hey you can see the three instances that I selected here so what's exactly the meaning of this is that you can control the in between also the value of the radius which you want and here you will see that it depending on two data 25 percent some percentage over here and uh, and the radius so this percentage means the uh, taking the origin here and the end point here the 25 means 25 percent means one by fourth of the distance from this point to this point uh, so this one is the 50 percent and this one is the 75 percent you can also you can you know decrease or increase as per the design of you yours okay and you can give some radius value here also for example at this point i want my radius to be 0 0.03 and uh, at 50 percent i have my radius value to 0 0.04 and then let's say here i want 0 0.06 So you can click here and you will give the desired geometry which you wanted. Okay. I will remove these lines for you and you know you can see. So that's the function of variable size fillet. Now I'm moving forward and for that let me delete it. Now the next one is the face fillet. So in face fillet, you know you have to select uh, at least two faces. And for example, I select this one and this one. So the f edge, you know, in between the faces, it gets filleted. So similarly, you have to select and give it some, you know, radius. And obviously, it will get when you click on the green arrow button it will get you to fill it so you will see a very nice you know fill it has been you know made by solid box in between the faces which you selected and one more thing which i forgot to mention to you is uh, the capability to uh, make asymmetric asymmetric uh, fillets how asymmetric fillet works is for example i want to apply one fillet here and you saw that earlier all the fillets which I applied it had the same trajectory and on the both side of the face on the both side of the edge that, that is the same curvature is here and the same curvature is here also but in case you want different different curvatures on the both side so this is the option for you so see you can play around this and so 
you'll get something like this so you can have variable radius also and uh, and the last one is you know a full face full full round fillet in full round fillet it asks for at least three faces from you and uh, for example I select this one and this one uh, sorry okay so you, you can see in the preview itself only that uh, it uh, this tool applies a fillet between these three faces it makes sure that all three faces come into picture when while applying this fillet okay and also you know I will show you something about the full face fillet that this one this one and this one so the you know the sequence of the faces also matters while you are playing with this too because the face number one here is my blue one and the face number two face number two is this purple one and the face number three is this red one so if I click here so what it has done is it has started from the it just started from the first phase and then it had gone through the second phase and then it has ended at the third phase so now if I click if I make my second phase this one and third phase this one so now it will start from phase one and it will go through phase two and then, then it will end at this phase so you see there is a difference between the the I mean the sequence which in which you select the fillet and the surface it also matters okay so that's uh, that's enough for the fillet I mean it uh, it's enough for you to get started with the, you know the design so good luck guys